Welcome to 3 Talk. I'm your host, Nolene. Last Friday, a very special South African film opened at cinemas around the country. With its cast and crew hoping for success, but never dreaming that it would capture audiences the way it has. Material tells the story of a young man caught between tradition and obligation, passion and purpose. Kasim Kaif played by Riyad Musa, works in his father's fabric shop and seems destined to take over the reins of the family business. He, however, has other plans. Take a look. Space, the final frontier. There's a demand for you out there, and I will supply that demand. Say paneer. Paneer. Huh? Paneer. Say paneer. It's cheese. It's cheese. In India. Paneer. Yeah. yeah? You need an alibi. Life is not a funny business. There's a secret greeting for, for Indians when they meet Jews. They just go, here, bro. Indian people, we keep grudges for 40 years. Zulfa Fora. That's the one. Remember how she used to make Sarah like a mosquito? Lovely food. I'm Zulfa. I'm an I'm idiot. You are an idiot. I really like her dad. No, no, no. You don't marry the person. You marry the family. And you know what? Who is she to say that my biryani is dry? Standing, standing comedy. Stand-up comedy? Yes, that. <laughs> I hate rugby. Has anybody been from Pakistan yet, Masai? The Imam is telling us about all the terrible things on the phone, like mixing it and tuta. He also said the children were on face break and stabbing each other. It's poking, Daddy. Less is more! Assalamu alaikum. We are seriously going places. Don't say. <laughs> Please welcome the man who inspired the film, helped write it and plays the role of Kasim Kaif, Riyad Musa. You, you now a huge film star. Am I? Am you I huge? Huge. All over. All over. The big screen. The big, the big screen. And we put big copies in Park in Fordsburg. I uh, don't know about that. Yeah, maybe I've seen it already. No, you haven't. But How you should see it on I'm the big screen, please, Nolene. Please. I have seen it. I paid my big bucks to go into the movie. I paid for my popcorn and I paid for my drinks. Thank you very much. So I have contributed to the success awesome. of the movie. Thank you so much. So how close is the movie to your life? Um, it's actually very different. I'm from Cape Town, originally qualified as a medical doctor. This young man is from Fordsburg in Johannesburg, and he works in a fabric shop. So a lot of differences okay, but, yeah, but it, in the narrative. Yes. But I have to be honest, a lot of the conflict with regard to doing stand-up comedy within my community and at the same time wanting to be an integral part of that community that has been dramatized in the movie. I must be honest. Yeah. So, so you you were able to kind of you know some scenes you were able to play yourself in a way to channel myself. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, not specifically from uh, the point of view of my parents. My parents were very very supportive. There was no moments where I said, "Mom, Dad, I want to be funny." Yeah. There was nothing like that. Um, uh, I think your mom and dad would have slapped you. Yes. They, no. They actually were very very uh, supportive. Um, but uh, in terms of the difficulties of doing stand-up comedy, because it's sort of a novelty within my community, stand-up comedy is an art form, mm. and um, uh, I did get sort of some flack from certain sectors of the community. Did you? Did you? What kind of flack? Well, just also difficulties that we sometimes dramatize in the movie is like performing in areas or in an environment where alcohol is served. Yes. So yes. I had to deal with that from very uh, early on. Yeah. Um, and I've always, I was always very uncomfortable in the environment. So what I always used We're to in do, bars. Yes. Yeah, because there's, because in the movie, and I'm, we, we can't give away a lot, but in the movie, you are uh, doing stand-up in, in a bar. Yes. And as your initiation, alcohol is poured <coughs> on you. And, and that was kind of, you know, very traumatic for you. Yes, it was. Very, well, that didn't really happen. Uh, but uh, 
the, the, the issue uh, surrounding that I was confronted with very, very early on because I just loved comedy. Mm. Um, and I started doing stand-up after fourth year medicine and I started hanging around with other comedians mm. uh, of the Cape Comedy Collective and we used to perform at the Armchair Theatre in Observatory in Cape Town. And um, uh, what used to happen is we used to do these shows and there was once a show uh, uh, where a pamphlet was made and the show was sponsored by Alcohol Brand. Mm. And my grandfather like uh, found the pamphlet mm. and he was, he was very sort of um, uh, very careful with how he, how he approached it. Yeah. And he said, no, my son, you, you can't do this. Yes. You must be very, very careful, understand the jokes, but uh, you have to have sensitivity. Yeah. So very, very early on, I, I was aware of that. And what I usually used to do and, uh, uh, is I just go for the show. And then once the show is done, you back can't. home. Yeah. yeah. So that is my general, general approach. And these days, I'll even, like at my own shows, um, there will be no alcohol. I, w I, w I will not serve any alcohol at my shows okay. to make it inclusive for uh, the Muslim audiences. Right. Um, like I, and s sometimes I actually have to buy out the bar because they, people want to sell, the theaters yes. want to sell. So I have to <laughs> give cash to buy out the bar just to But uh, then you don't inclusive. make money. So if now, it's sold out and you've got to buy out the bar, yeah, yeah. But, I that mean, doesn't make financial sense. Uh, it doesn't make financial sense, but it makes uh, uh, religious sense, and y it's based yes. On, an, yes. on a principle that I Absolutely. try and follow right through. Yeah. But people generally support, so, so yeah. I still do okay. Okay, which is fantastic. Now, coming back to material, mm. uh, did I tell you I love the movie? Oh, oh, oh. Did, it, did I tell you? You did. Oh, okay, I'm telling you again. Thank I love you. the movie. Say it again. The <laughs> I can't look, don't be, don't be <laughs> khala khala. The first part... I don't know what that means. Um, d don't worry. The first part <laughs> is, uh, is, 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 is a comedy. That's what, the way. And then somewhere in the middle, it kind of changes and becomes more of, of a drama. D how would you describe the movie? Uh, it's a movie that will... It's either a, a comedy drama or a drama comedy. We're not really sure. That's the interesting thing about this movie because I will be like, let's say at the screenings, I, w I, w I used to stand after the, the screening and sign, sign posters and stand for photographs and meet some of the people. And interesting, some people come, yo, brother, it was funny. Or, that is, yo, you and Joey, you so funny. Right? And the next person just comes, oh, yeah. it was just like my family and my life. And give me a hug. Uh, so it's like, it is, uh, you develop, I don't know, uh, this movie uh, is a very layered movie, so it touches people in many different ways yeah. based on, I think, your personal experience. You make a lot of, I mean, in the, in the movie you also, uh, obviously because you're doing stand-up comedy, but you are at the shop, your father's shop, so, uh, but a lot of the jokes that you make are um, against Indian people. Uh, no, well, not against Indian no, people. No, not against, but about Indian it will people. Be, it will involve like, things that will resonate with, uh, with our community. Like the 15 example. minutes. Like 15 minutes. Uh, and uh, that also is a bit that I usually do in my stand-up. Mm. And we've also just shown how uh, real life um, uh, resulted in the actual material. We yeah. showed the real situation as well, you know, yeah. as well as the actual stand-up. Um, so... Um, we try to, in terms of the comedy, include every different type of comedy. So the comedy will range from slapstick, you'll find, to witty dialogue, to quirky dialogue, mm. to um, funny situations, mm. to actual stand-up comedy. Yeah. Um, so it's a wide variety for the comedic palette. So everybody who likes different sort of styles of comedy, there, there's an aspect of every different type in there. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the drama as well, which yeah. just comes in. Like, oh, uh, that made me cry. It's, it's, it creeps in it there. It does. Yeah. And, you know, you've been laughing, and then suddenly there's this moment, and you think, oh, how th that was just too sad. Yeah. So I can identify with someone, you know, who comes out <laughs> laughing and someone who comes out and says that this, this really hit me really, really deeply. Tell me about the 15 minutes. Well, uh, 15 minutes is just it's a, it's, it's a gag that I, I used to do in my stand-up. It's about Indians are always 15 minutes away from everything. Uh, we always get a call from an uh, Indian brother. It's like, how, where are you, Mohammed? How long are you going to be? It's like 15 minutes, boss. 15 minutes. And then you phone back 15 minutes later again, 
And it's like, how long are you going to be now? No, no, 15 minutes. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. and it's always around the corner. Also, there's another thing. They're always around the corner. Wait, I'm around the corner. Like, I'm like, where? Bloemfontein. <laughs> and I'm like, how long are you going to be now? 15 minutes. <laughs> Uh, so it's just part of my stand-up, yeah. and we we played homage to that uh, in in the in the movie. There's yeah. someone who's just uh, tweeted Katuza seventy five. I waited for leap year, and now I can safely say to your guest, marry me. And uh, ooh, um, I won't say the other part. I watched the movie and <laughs> fell in love. I love my wife Farzana. <laughs> Sorry, Katuza seventy five. He's married and he loves his wife. Have you seen material? You call and tell us what you thought of the movie. The number to call is oh eight six double two double three three zero three or tweet me Nolene three talk. We'll meet the brains behind the mega hit material just after this. <laughs> Shoes off, darling. Can't can't walk in music. Okay. All right. I'm moving.